Hi everybody, I hope you're having a good morning, noon, night, whatever time you're trying to watch this video. Look at my cat, isn't he so cute? I thought we'd do something a little bit different and we'll clean the studio today. So I'm gonna show you all my tips, tricks, and hacks for an organized studio, because mine looks like trash. So grab your coffee or tea, whichever you prefer, and your friendly animal, and let's get started on the video. Look at this face! Look at this face! Okay, let's get started. Okay, here we go. We have the studio, how it looks, a complete mess. Probably what I imagine my brain would look like if we were thinking of imaginary things. So first thing on my list is doing some reorganizing. So all of these spaces here, I'm going to go through, reorganize, and of course purge all the crap that I have most likely started to hoard. I am notorious for keeping things down to the last drop, so anything empty will be going today as it stands. So yeah, I'm gonna go through this with you. I even stopped at the container store, as you can see right here, and I'm gonna get all of this cleaned up and we're gonna do it together with my tips. So yeah, tip number one or step one, whatever you would like to call it, let's begin the purge. I like to think it's always easier to start by throwing away stuff you don't need. As an artist, our style changes, especially when we're learning how to have our style. If you just got out of college, you might not be doing the same things that you were once doing. So if it doesn't serve, get rid of it. Hi, it's me, Future Brit. Just gonna pause the video really quickly right now. Just wanna do a quick rewind and do some wordplay. If it doesn't serve, purge. Just wanted to add that in. Okay, let's continue. Here's another example of crap I hoarded. Old empty boxes for appliances. If you have an empty box of whatever it is, just chunk it. Get rid of it. Look, I'm doing the thing that the Instagram guy does. I can't, I don't know his name exactly, but he's hilarious. I think he's so funny. Moving on, go ahead and get everything you would like to dust and wipe down. These are the cloths that I will be using to do that. You can use any solution and any cloths. These are just the ones that I like. These cloths are actually reusable and you can put them in your dishwasher. Next step, organize your cords. Use rubber bands to organize your cords if you don't have Velcro cable ties. If I had the time, I totally would have bought some Velcro ties, but I'm a very impatient person. If my husband would listen to this, he would say, yes, I am but he's not here right now. So yes, I admit it, and I'm gonna only admit it once or twice that I am impatient. So I am using rubber bands to organize my appliance cords. Organizing your cords just make things look so much better, so much more professional, and it makes you look like you freaking care. Let's just call it what it is. It looks like you care. So if your appliances are not plugged in, like mine are not plugged in, it makes things so much simpler because what is the most valuable thing to you? Your time, it's the most important. So just take a little bit of extra time out of your schedule, organize those cords and have it perfectly ready for you for your next project or your next printing, whatever it is you're using it for. Now that we're done with those cords, let's get started on this desk. I went to the container store and bought these jars and I will be using them for my paintbrushes. I will start off by, of course, separating the taller brushes from my smaller brushes. For me, it doesn't really matter if it's a brush or um, silicone rubber. That's what I use for a lot of my textures. It doesn't really matter as much as how the height organization is. So I'm just gonna add all of the tall brushes in this taller glass jar and then all of the small ones in the other jar. As you can see in this video, I am also checking if my brushes suck as usual. If you looked at any of my other videos, I will try to insert it here. 
this is how you clean your brushes if you need to do that. I'm checking this now because like I said, I am notorious for not cleaning my brushes because sometimes I am an artist that sucks. So yeah. It's game time. Since I've been editing this video, I'm starting to notice that there are a number of Ollie Pops in this video. So if you want to have a little bit of fun, start counting the Ollie Pops and looking at the flavors that we got going on, folks. Let's hang in there and you can even make it a drinking game. Let's go. Now that those brushes are taken care of, I'm just going to do a little bit of organizing on my supplies shelf. I'm making sure to dust everything over here and throw away anything that's empty. If you are a collage artist and you have a lot of magazines, this tip is for you. Make sure you go through all of your magazines and if it does not serve you, go ahead and purge. There are going to be a lot of little scrap magazines that you probably won't even need so just get rid of those as well too and make it look pretty. Reorganize them according to height. That's my tip that I have to make it just look a lot better. Look at this corner. Look at it. It looks so pretty. I'm so proud of it. I'm so proud. <laughs> Next tip I have for you when it comes to organizing is consolidate your items. Don't have stamps over here, stamps over there, stamps in another room. Put all of your stamps or item, whatever it is in your home, all together. Because we are in the studio, we are going to use Project Slim cases to organize your stamps, if you have stamps. This also works for stencils as well as long as they are not too big. In my case, since I'm essentially upgrading the old project cases that I have to new ones, make sure you don't throw away the original ones you have. All of these old pieces or components that's used for organizing can be reused in another part of your house. Of course, I don't have one right now, an idea basically, but never throw it away. Keep what you have because this stuff is expensive. Let's just, let's just call it what it is. It's really expensive and you can use it in another room. After you finish organizing your components in the project cases, use a label maker to label each one of those project cases. The best advice I have ever gotten when it comes to organizing is make it idiot proof. Like I said before, time is very important and I'm very impatient. I do not like looking for items. So labeling everything makes it so much easier to just grab and go, especially when it comes to a hectic or small studio. Speaking of small studios, another tip that I have for you guys is using a magazine holder to, of course, organize your sketchbooks. If you are like me, you have tons of sketchbooks lying around and going back to the tip I said before, consolidate all of your items. So we're going to use a magazine holder. I actually like this one that I had gotten from Amazon. I will have the link below, but we will be using this magazine holder to put that on a bookshelf. If you have one of those or in a corner that would work in your studio space. Clear is one of my favorite ones to use because it just makes everything look so much cleaner and makes it look like you have more space than you actually do. If you go with a solid color, it might make it look a little bit smaller in, in your studio space. So I always opt to use a clear magazine holder or item, whatever it is that you're using. I always prefer to get like a clear or acrylic organizing item. This was another Amazon goodie find that I was able to, of course, find when searching for organizing items. This is a desk organizer for letters, documents, and notebooks, but I'm using it for my books to actually organize them as well. So look, I'm getting it all together and I'm organizing it according to height. Another fun tip when it comes to organizing to make everything look so much better and cohesive. The end is fast approaching. Now we have our reveal of how my studio looks after using all of those tips that I told you guys about. This is normally more or less what my desk will look like when I go to work at night when it's so clean. 
You see all those cords are tucked away. They look pristine in our little printer section that I'm so proud of. Also, everything in this back corner is put together. All of our supplies have been reorganized and even the canvas shelf and supply shelf has been reorganized as well too. Don't forget to dust. <laughs> I did dust. If you are asthmatic like I am, make sure you put on a dust mask. That's my last tip that I have for you guys, but it's been fun. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so, so far. And comment below what you think I should do for the next video. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to rewind and repeat. Bye!